What do materials engineers do? Materials science and engineering professionals work across a range of industries, being broadly non-discipline specific. These industries include everything from aerospace vehicles, automotive, solar energy and batteries, biomed, construction, drug delivery, and a whole range of other industries, including functional properties like electronic and optical properties. In what areas would material scientists and engineers work? Well, they may be called metallurgists, ceramicists, even biomaterials experts or corrosion engineers. In the end, they may also have a range of different job-specific titles. However, being broadly non-discipline specific lands you in many, several different job opportunities. Some recent alumni of ours, like Simone Brennan, is now an asset engineer at Transfield Services in Sydney, or Christine Crawshaw, an assistant project manager at ACOM Consulting here in Melbourne. More information about recent alumni can also be found from our promotional brochures. Other alumni also include DMTC CEO Mark Hodge and Ken Chia, who now works at Flayberg as a solar technologist over in Boston. Recently, the Association of Professional Engineers here in Australia indicated that Australia needs a significant number more engineers before 2016, also indicating, although a little dated now, that engineers command very strong salaries compared to other disciplines. Most importantly for materials, Open Universities Australia presently claims that starting salaries of about $75,000 per annum can be sought, and that also matches the high salaries that can be sought from material scientists and engineers in the US. However, very importantly, employment trends indicate locally that an increase of 34.1% over the past five years has occurred and is expected to grow strongly through 2017 for materials engineers. Unique to Monash is a special blue scoped cadetship. This cadetship is offered specifically to second and third year students who happen to be in a double degree completing a Bachelor of Engineering in Materials at Monash University. What Blue Scope looks for is students with a credit average that have good interpersonal skills and a drive for results and are quick learners. The cadet program offers 12 weeks of VAC work at the end of your second year. It also offers you a full-time, full-pay gap year prior to completion of your final year and also pay during your final year of study. Graduates are also offered full-time positions subject to their performance. Other companies in which we feed also include multinational company ACOM, which is ranked number one by the engineering design firm in Engineering News Record Magazine's annual industry rankings. ACOM's Advanced Material Group includes a large number of Monash Materials graduates dating back about a dozen years. Also on the local scene, local company Infracor includes a large number of recent Monash graduate students uh, that are working as corrosion engineers and ensuring safe and durable infrastructure around the Melbourne area. Other companies that have recently hired Monash Materials Inch graduates include GE, both in Australia and in the US, Rolls-Royce, DSTO, Syro, Boeing, Alaris, Energetics and BHP Billiton. This is what recent alumni, Mr. Peter Nichols, had to say. Hi, my name's Peter Nichols, and I'm a 2011 graduate of Monash Materials Engineering. And I'm here to have a quick chat about what I've done since leaving uni. So when I graduated in 2011, I went straight into the construction industry, working first as a consultant and now as a contractor. Uh, working construction as a materials engineering, your focus is mainly on the remediation of existing structures and the durability of new structures. So you really want to understand what are the deterioration mechanisms behind a building or a bridge or a wharf or a jetty or a tunnel um, wearing away and how we can stop that. Um, what I like about working as materials engineering construction is the variability and the flexibility of the work. So um, I spend about two days a week on site and about three days in the office, which is really quite a nice balance. It really breaks up the week quite nicely. Um, but I also have a really good balance between project management style of work and also more of the technical project engineering type of work, um, which is good. Pretty much all engineers are going to work. Well summed up by our recent class of 2014 graduate, Simone Gualtieri. Materials engineering was a great choice for me because I wanted to acquire the scientific knowledge behind all sorts of everyday items. I now look at everything differently and ask many questions as a result of my engineering degree.